Hey, T, listen, you want to hang out? Yes, for sure, pal, absolutely. Uh, great, I'll be there soon. Hey, Mike, it's me. I'm meeting up with T. You want to join us? Oh, uh, you. I thought you'd give it up on me as a friend. Cool, I'm coming by. Don't mean nothing to you, bro? No huh? way. Why are you so late? <laughs> My favorite gangbanger. Ah, you decided to show up eventually, huh? Oh, look. What's up, gentlemen? Yeah. So, we doing this? So what were you two like when y'all was kids? Well, Michael always was a bit of a pussy. Yeah, Trevor was always a lot of a psycho. We'd do a job, and he'd want to leave town right away. We could never make friends or contacts anywhere. He'd kill someone in broad daylight, and we'd have to jump town. Like I said, a pussy. Like I said, a maniac. Liar. Crazy person. Snake. Nutcase. This is fun. Let me tell you, kid. Whatever you take away from our time together, take away this. Oh, do not. Under any circumstances, take any advice from Trevor. He's a crazy person. I am not a crazy person. I'm the one-eyed man in the land of the blind. <laughs> oh, that's generous. You're the one brain cell man. And you're the two-faced turd. I just realized you both hate me. You both do. I see it now. You pair of fucking snakes. You both hate old Trev. Trevy Trev Trev. Kind old Trev. Nice old Trevor. You creepy pair of rats hate me. No, man. Oh, don't nobody hate you, man. That ain't true. No. We will love you. T -t 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 -t. Oh, you hate me. You both hate me. Both jealous of me. You hate me because I'm real. You hate me because I'm smart. Either way, shut the fuck up! So, like, I gotta ask. Has anything changed, or are you dudes still the same? Has Michael changed? Let me think. Hmm. Well, he changed his name and came back from the dead. That's kind of a big change. Yeah, Trevor ain't changed at all. He's always had anger issues. Anger issues? Me? <laughs> Anger issues. And other issues. Oh! Well, what? Other issues? Mother issues. You did not just say that. He did not just say that. I said it. How is your mom? That is none of your business. She's such a sweet woman. A delicate flower. I don't want I don't want her to see me like this. Mother issues. I will cut a hole in your throat and pull your tongue out if it looks like it's starting to form the letter M. <laughs> and anger issues. Okay, uh, I, I see. Hey, so Frank. No, 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 me first. Franklin, whatever you do, don't listen to advice from Michael. <laughs> hey, he came to me for advice. Our whole relationship is based on him wanting my advice. Man, that was before I got to know you. Now, I don't listen to anything either of you say. Hey, we should like drop the married dude off and, and just like do some single dude shit. Yeah, yeah, you know, we wouldn't want our married friend here to feel any temptation. Hey, whoa, whoa, I can come along. I abstain. Don't you worry about me. Oh. I'm worried about him. Frank, you worried? I like the dude, but do I trust him? I don't know. He ain't got a great record for trust. Oh, that's a good point. Good. Let's get rid of him. Best thing for his family, for us, and above all, for him. Hey, screw up all the hell. You don't want me here? I'll walk. I'm sick of getting ganged up on anyone. <laughs> now he's in the mood. I guess he's gotta stay. I told you we should have waited till his ass was in the can and just booted. Yeah, the next time. Yeah. Assholes. So, 
something this nice? Let's hope so. Yeah, let's hope so. If we can just get five minutes without you two arguing, I'll be happy. It's not gonna happen. Michael loves arguing. Yeah, that's rich coming from you. Hey, I don't like arguing. I like being respected. But you, you, you like arguing. All those silly one-liners, like you're a gumshoe in a film noir. That silly way you speak out of the side of your mouth. I have no idea what you're talking about. What I am talking about, Cupcake, is the fact that you're a sentimental idiot who loves arguing as a form of affection. Because your whole life, your only frame of reference for anything was trying to act like you were in a movie. Bullshit. Not bullshit. It's true. You're a deluded vain turd and you're sure as shit not in a movie. Listen, kid, just turn into a snake like old fatty there. It kills you, all that treachery. Eats you from the inside. Yeah, well, you look, 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 kid, you listen to me. Trevor here, he acts real, but there is no, no, no code. None. There isn't this great morality underpinning his actions. He's just a, nah, he's just a complete turd. Damn, man, well, this is a fun way to spend the time. Hey. It's, it's, uh, good to hang out, the three of us. Sure it is, I bet. He's a lucky kid. Should we tell him? I think it's time we told him. You wanna do it? I think you should. Tell me what? What you fools talking about? We're your daddies now, Franklin. We decided. Are we the fathers you always wanted? Man, look, my shitty childhood ain't something to joke about, okay? And no, no, man, hell no, nah, y'all ain't the daddies I always wanted. Because I only wanted one. And anyway, man, I looked after you idiots just as much as you look after me. Aww. Oh, he's so grown up, isn't he? I am proud as a peacock. Man, fuck both of y'all. When are you gonna change? I don't know. I think I got a few more years before I gotta finally clean up my act. You know, stop drinking and all that. Mm, no, no, no. I mean, change into your true reptilian form. You're one of the lizard people, aren't you? I mean, only explanation for your sense of loyalty. <laughs> you see that man? His tongue, his fork. He's one of them lizards, dog. you know? I hate to tell you this, but I am too. Man, we gonna eat your ass. Oh, you can joke now, but when he grows scales, remember this conversation. So what's up with you, Frank? Not too much. And you, Mikey? Usual sort of stuff, T. Mm, dot, 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 and... And what? And what about me? Me? The weird one over here? Why don't you ask about me? Ah, uh, I was... Because you don't care. You actually hope things aren't too good with me. You hate me. You want me dead. That's not true. Oh, please! Yes, it is! Twenty-plus years and we've gone nowhere. NOWHERE! You're still incapable of thinking about anything apart from yourself. Man, well, this is a fun time. Hey, how's therapy going, Mikey? Had any breakthroughs? Firstly, fuck you. And secondly, clearly not. I'm still spending time with you. See, Frank, Trevor is the one who really needs therapy or medicating, or being neutered, or something like that. You know, he's taking his childhood issues out on the rest of humanity, and until the rest of us suffer as much as him, he ain't gonna stop. Man, do either of you ever stop? Mike! Man, Franklin and I have been talking, and we wanted to ask you something. Yeah, what is it, Frank? I got no idea. It's about Jimmy. We, uh, wanna know what happened there. What do you mean, what happened? Well, I haven't been blessed with children. I mean, not yet, though I'm sure I'll make a great father. Franklin, too, has yet to embark on that adventure. You're flying the flag for us, so to speak, and you're doing a shitty job of it. I'm doing fine, okay? Uh, no, cause Jimmy hates you. Jimmy don't hate you. With good reason. Yeah, Jimmy's got reason to hate you, but Jimmy don't hate you. What reason's Jimmy got to hate me? He's a kid, dog, and you really don't show interest in him. It's all, like, on your terms. Well, he's interested in bullshit. If he liked movies or sports or something normal... Yeah. Maybe I am a dick. Yeah. You're a dick. Poor Jimmy. 
How you two been? Fine. Fine. And Amanda? How's she? Do you care? Or are you just asking this for a punchline? Hmm. You're right. I don't care. Married life has killed him, Frank. Slowly but surely, the man I know has been replaced by this... this thing. <laughs> yeah, you see, Frank, Trevor's incapable of getting married because he hates absolutely everybody. He doesn't have any friends. He doesn't have any relationships. He kills people who even mildly annoy him. And you know why? Mm. Why, sugar? Because you're the most arrogant turd who ever walked this earth. That's why. You think you're better than everybody else. <laughs> Bullshit! I'm... That's not true. Oh, it's true, Cupcake. And you know it. How you doing, Frank? And how are you doing, Mr. Plastic? <laughs> oh, yeah. You're so real. See, Frank, this right here is reality. Yeah. Some clapped out hipster psychopath with mommy issues. That's reality. I am not a hipster. Please shut up. All of you. I'm begging you, all right? So, Frank, if you've learned anything, it's this. Be real, like me. Hey, man, you're like a heightened version of something, but I don't know if it's reality. Oh, it is, bro. I'm hyper real. Oh, hyper's right. And look, Trevor's a lot of fun, but I got a family. I got interest in life outside of killing people. I'm the real one. I'm the guy you should be emulating. Oh, eh, you're not real. You're a hall of mirrors. Dead or alive, friend or enemy, husband or John. No, no, no. Hey, both of you. Damn. I didn't hook up with you for reality. I got enough reality as it is, man. I hooked up with you to hear you bickering like school kids, evidently. Shit. Man, y'all ain't gonna start again, are you? I can't listen to another one of y'all arguments. We don't really argue, do we? We have conversations, but it's all love at the heart of it. Definitely. All love. Hate? Love? I don't care what the fight's about. Just don't do it, all right? Well, gents, we did it. Damn straight. Yes, quite a journey. We robbed the feds, we tricked the IAA, we boosted a huge pile of gold, and we defeated a private army and its billionaire investor. That's the way you retire. But most importantly, Frank, is that we learn to not be snakes. You got that? Yeah, sure. Because if you learn too much from Michael and not enough from Trevor, then you're doomed. Before you know it, you'll be faking deaths, stabbing backs, and taking plea bargains. Yeah, as opposed to eating joggers, smoking meth, and molesting sailors. Uh-uh. It's not molesting if they're lonely. It's patriotism. You're not even American. I am! Fuck you! <laughs> yeah, whatever you say, eh? So let me ask you, Mikey. Now everything is more or less done and dusted. There's one thing I haven't quite figured out, but I know me and Frankie have both wondered about it. What now? Well, have you ever considered plastic surgery? I mean, or lipo? I mean, you're a very vain man, but you're also aging terribly. Hey, I think I'm doing okay. Ah, uh, okay, great, great. It's like you said, Frank. Denial is a very powerful drug. I never said that. We did it, guys. You gotta say we did it. That we did. The Union Depository, we did it big, homies. <laughs> and Blaine County Savings and Loan and the Operation Merryweather was running out the port of LS. That didn't turn out so good. We didn't get paid on that. The story's enough. Stories are good, but I prefer physical, like paycheck. Oh, please, whatever. We're heist men. We took scores and we came out on top. And none of this would have happened if I hadn't have shown up. Thank the dear Lord I came to find you, Mikey. Yeah, and here I thought you were going to kill me. But you might just have saved me. What? Well, might just? I actually did save you several times. And I saved both of y'all countless times. Hey, I did my share of saving too, when I wasn't nearly getting you killed, right? So let's just leave it at that. 
Frank, I hope you've learned that this is what stick-up men do. They help each other. What, help each other and argue? Yeah, that's what I'm taking away from this. Bang man, quick fire round! Who's got a question for Uncle T? Where'd you bury the bodies, Trevor? Oh, well, they're everywhere. Bang bang, Frank! I guess I've been wondering, man. Are you... Are you gay? No, yeah, whatever. Labels, bro! Bang bang! <laughs> you want me to be gay? Look, man, I want you to be happy and a bit less frightening. Oh, well, that's good, because that's what I am. Whatever's making me happy. Hey, good seeing you, fool. Fun times. Let's do it again soon. Yeah, we should do this again. <laughs>